Yeah, that's the one. He's pretty tall into holy crap, Christy. Look at that one on the left. Super tall. Is he? He looks like he's got more points. Okay, it's a drop down. Oh, is he cool? It's a drop time buck. That is wicked.
fucking giant. Dude, he's a pig. There's two other bugs right there in the field. There's a pig sitting on I know. Oh, the big seven. The big seven. Oh, there's bugs everywhere. There were six bucks behind us, and then there were six bucks out here. Now there's three bucks right now here. He's laying there in the field. Dude, it's just, I'm losing it, dude. My head is just falling apart. Uh, yeah, man. You should come. Are we, we're gonna, we're gonna get, I gotta, I gotta get my together here. We're gonna get out of here. And, sorry, dude. I'm losing it because I'm freezing and I'm excited. Yeah. The shot was good, so it was, it was bad, but he only ran 40 yards and he fell. He spun out of control and he fell over and couldn't get up. Now his head is down. He looks dead, but I can't tell for sure. Oh, shit, dude. Oh, man. I'm, I'm just, I'm like falling apart here. It's ridiculous. Dude, I'm just falling apart right now. It has been... Are you rolling? Yeah, wait. It has been three years in a row that I have made a poor example of myself, not just, you know, for the sake of film, but I've just been struggling. I've taken, a, I've forced a couple of shots and made some mistakes and blown some opportunities at, you know, uh, some of the bigger deer that I've ever encountered in the wild. And uh, I've been practicing all summer again. We just got back from North Dakota. And I've been watching this buck for months, since June I've been watching this deer. Just wondering what he was going to turn into. <sighs> you have to forgive me man, I'm just trying to get a hold of myself. Did you say you're pregnant? I'm not pregnant. But, here's what you need to know. Oh. You shot my deer. You shot the drop time buck. No you didn't. Did you really? <laughs> yeah, dude, shot the drop time. So you saved my deer. You saved yours for you. You shot the drop time. You shot the drop time. Dude. <laughs> <laughs> no way. Yeah, I feel like I won a tournament a couple years ago of monkey fishing and the feeling just like the rush of adrenaline doesn't like leave your body. Oh, and I haven't been able to put words together. It's the drop time. And his body's so big, it looks like, uh, like, Mr. Pig or something. He's just got these little twig legs with this body that just blows you away. You got the drop time. Got the drop time. 38 yards. Whoa. Wow. <laughs> Here, you're gonna need one of these, Steve. How awesome. Oh man. Dude. Sam, what's up? Hey man, you at a party right now? I am. Oh man, I'm so sorry that I pulled you away from that. Having a bottle of bush light. Bottle of bush light. That's fancy. He's classy. Yeah, he's a classy hunter. <laughs> well, hey, listen. Doesn't want to be formal, but I'm here to party. <laughs> That's awesome. <laughs> we just needed to tell you something, man. What happened? We're pulled over on the side of the road, okay? And um, we're about 20 yards into a hay field, and in a few minutes, we're gonna drink a beer, and then we're gonna walk 150 yards out to the other side of the road into another hay field, and we're gonna scoop up a drop time buck that we just shot tonight on film. You me? I'm not you. <laughs> 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 you so here's the squirrel, here's the arrow. We saved that squirrel's life, I thought. And then I thought I saw him dying in the woods, but that might have been a different squirrel making love to another squirrel, because this squirrel's definitely dead. I think I need to do the kick and like make sure he's dead or he's pretty sure he's dead. So Steve was right there on the right. And there I am. I don't know if you can see that. So we're trying to stick to the COVID terms, staying six feet apart. I mean we did our best. We wore our, our face masks. What can I say? He was above me, I was below him and it was a good canopy i mean this this sort of umbrella here i think hit us extremely well so right now we're underneath the tree where we 
shot that buck and that coyote. And we just went and recovered the coyote. He ran, what do you think, Dave? 10 yards? 10 yards. 10 yards. I don't think he had a chance to go very, very far. Uh, I think it might have been hard to breathe. <clears throat> then we shot the buck right over here, and he ran about 40 yards and piled up. So he should be laying right up here in the field. When we first got here, I threw the light on it, and I could see the rack sticking up out of the hay. So uh, I guess we're gonna we're gonna go walk up on him. Let's go. Arrow. He's got rolls in his neck, you guys. Look at that. Look at this. Will you put that stuff down and grab them? Yeah. If you don't, I'm gonna. looking knife you ever seen but you know, it means an awful lot so this will be cool to gut another deer with it. Although I thought there was a little bit more of an edge to it and I think when we were in North Dakota I was cutting some branches with it because I didn't have my saw in my hand. Like this, and we hook them through here so that they don't spin when you cut the hind quarters. 